Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about uh, a thing that might not be really video worthy, so to speak, but it's mostly just because, you know, Pat Elfline, he came back, full participant in practice, he probably comes back this week, so I wanted to talk about the impact that a healthy Pat Elfline can make on this line, and to me it instantly upgrades the, the running game, and it as well, you know, adds a leader to that offensive line. And I know some people might be like, well, he's only in his second year. But at the same time, that center position requires you to be more of a leader and more vocal as he... He's essentially the quarterback of the offensive line. He's he's the centerpiece, and he's supposed to make all the calls. He's the guy that they all have to trust. So just by that alone, it kind of changes him into you need to develop into this leader type in order for everything to work. And... Obviously, I think adding that helps a lot. And right now, the they rank 22nd in rushing and 23rd in yards per carry. They all, they're only getting 92 yards a game, and they're averaging 3.7 yards a carry. So that obviously needs to get better. And I think we'll also see the increase in screen success like we did last year. He was the key cog in that being successful last year, and we saw a lot of success in the screen game last year. Because uh, he is a tremendous space blocker and he can really get to the second level. He's very good with his assignments in there. And I think we see that with Brett Jones. He's just not that kind of... He's a below average athlete where I think you get an above average athlete with Pat Elfline. Even though the numbers don't show it. A lot of offensive line play when it comes to this kind of stuff is about play speed. And the play speed from Elfline to Brett Jones is not even close. So... I think all of that kind of, just the way he processes things, he goes much faster than Brett Jones does. And I think that in space, specifically for Dalvin Cook, because that's where Dalvin Cook needs to make his money, is in space. So I think what we might end up getting is a much more effective Dalvin Cook out of this, even though he's a little bit tinged up right now. But going forward, that is going to be Dalvin's best friend. And even though I think Brett Jones has filled in pretty admirably, given what was asked of him, he only showed up like 10 days before the year, and he was starting at center, which is a pretty hard spot to start in 10 days. So just that the play speed and the way that Pat Elfine probably will know the playbook better, and the fact that I he's kind of is the general of this offensive line as the center. So... He will probably know more about the offense, even though he hasn't necessarily played in the offense. He's been there longer to learn this offense, and I think that will give him a better understanding. And it will be very interesting to see if there's miscommunication problems early over uh, you know, him and Kirk Cousins, because that center-quarterback combination, crucial thing, that is. And so I think that's also a very good like week this week is for Pat Elfline to come back because let's say there is some rust there he struggles a bit maybe he there is some miscommunication or just some natural rust since he hasn't played in a game since the championship game and with the rust you could say we could still win this game against Buffalo we still probably win this game against Buffalo like some people want to not play him till week four week five make sure he's healthy but at the same time, if that rust is there, him struggling against Aaron Donald, Dominic and Sue, Fletcher Cox, all those guys, we're done. We're done. We we probably can't get the offense moving too much if he's struggling and rusty. So I think it's probably best if he can go this week, obviously. Like if he's healthy enough to go, I say make him go just because of that alone. And I don't know, it would be kind of nice because we – we might have a guaranteed loss if he's struggling against the Rams and Philly. And the other thing that will be very interesting to me is if uh, who's going to be playing left guard because they could potentially move Elfline to left guard, potentially, if they think, well, Jones is a better center than Tom Compton is a left guard if the option is, let's say, we want to keep Elfline at center, but... If Jones isn't a better guard than Tom Compton, you might say, well, the best combination might be 
elf line here, Jones here at center. And it's going to be more of this combination thing. So if Elfline ends up playing left guard, don't think that's because Elfline is a worse center than Brett Jones. He's a better center than Brett Jones. It just might be Brett Jones and Tom Compton are worse at guard than Elfline is at guard. And I would prefer Elfline in at center because I think if you have an improvement at center, it improves the entire unit. And I don't know if you you might still want to put Brett Jones over to left guard if you're not a big fan of Tom Compton. I'm I actually think he played better this week against Green Bay than he did last week. Even though last week he had some crazy PFF ranking that was like 80.9 or something like that. I don't know what it was this week, but the eyeball test told me he looked better. And I don't know, I think that would be very interesting to see how the whole best five combination comes about. But uh, until next time, well, first, actually, let me know what you guys know down in the comments. And now, till next time, I bid you all adieu.